I found this block on sale and that's why I got it. But hear this, I got this for heavy duty negative block rigging and for those absolutely insane pulling scenarios where you don't want any friction in the system. That's why I got this block. The, the, the reality of the situation is this block sits around most of the time. I do use it for those pulling situations, but I never use it for negative block rigging anymore. And the reason I don't use it for negative block rigging anymore is because there's so many moving components and it's expensive and it's aluminum. Here is a, a lot more cost effective tool that does the exact same job when it comes to uh, negative block rigging. There is one difference and that is friction. And when you're lowering wood, friction is something that you want a little bit of in the tree anyways. When I found out about X-Rings, my life changed for the better because now I get to preserve this and this will probably last my entire career if not longer because I'm gonna take care of it. I'm just using it for those pulling situations now. It's like rare, rare rigging situations or as a, a backup. And then just hammering the heck out of these things and they're so cheap and there's no moving parts. Nothing tricky going on here, just these cheap rigging rings. And you know, they're, they're absolutely incredible. This is what I use for negative block rigging constantly. Here, here's a clip right now of me negative block rigging with these rings. Yeah, 36 will be for me in a little bit. Just make sure it's gas. Otherwise, I'd be all about it. <laughs> Ask Kevin how this size looks, you know, just thinking about, this is very comparable to those chunks we were lowering the other day. Yeah, no more than a half wrap though. Okay, half wrap, everything looks good to you guys. All right, ask for Kevin's input. His input's important. How's everything look? See the size. Rope's all flaked and it's not gonna get tangled. You're standing with the rope flaked behind you properly. Yeah, get all of the rope behind you and just like completely flaked out. So it's just, you know what I mean? Another trick is you can use an extra bucket to back coil the rope into. Let me know when you guys are ready. And remember, you've got tons of space to like let this thing run a bit. And then you can have Kevin stand behind you and he can always pick up the rope if he needs to. Yeah, it could kick off, so kind of try to, you know, slow it enough so that it's not swinging hard by the, by the house. But yeah, let it come out arch and slowly, you know, slow it down as it's coming into the truck. All right, I'm ready. lot of friction or what okay well that's that's good you know so the next one um, someone needs to go in there and guide that the next the next piece we're gonna we're gonna take about the same size and it'll be bigger diameter and it'll run nice and smooth no it's okay it wasn't too aggressive to be honest and then if you couple this with uh, ultra sling Oh man, you've got just the perfect lowering sling. 
you get two of these Beast X rings spliced onto a piece of Hollow Braid 10X. Doesn't have to be Hollow Braid 10X, doesn't matter. All you've got to do is take these things, go around on the tree, and then slip it through the slot, right? So imagine the tree's here. It's installed. That's all it is. It's done. You're done. Boom. No, no freaking, no freaking madness. No timber hitch. No whoop sling. No BS. Best combo ever for negative block breaking wood. If I'm doing a whole removal, I typically just install this thing at the top and do the entire removal, the lowering of the limbs and everything else with these X rings. If I need to lift the, um, if I'm gonna have to lift some limbs, like tip tie them and lift them back up into the rigging point, then I'll use something like this so that I've got a little bit of mechanical advantage and uh, rather than the friction, so like less friction to fight. And then I switch to X rings when I get into the big wood. Boom, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The most expensive part of this is just getting the freaking slings spliced. These rings themselves are super cheap when you compare them to a, a impact block that is. Still expensive because it's tree work and all of our equipment arboriculture is expensive. This industry stuff is not cheap, but awesome tool. If you don't use X rings yet, then I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't, I'm just kidding, but really they're great. Most people watching this are probably like, we know about X rings, but you know, if you don't actually use them, then you gotta, you gotta try them out. The company that I learned to climb with big prominent company in Washington, my crew lead didn't use X rings and he was absolutely phenomenal at his job and still is, but he didn't use them. We use pinto pulleys and a big impact block like this. We never used X rings. And I've got to say that my life would have been a lot better as a climber for that company if I just used these sometimes. So get them. If you, have, if you haven't tried X rings, try them out. Um, if you want to know more about them, you can find out on YouTube videos or just PM me and I can explain it a little bit more in detail, but really they're, they're absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, have a good day, you guys. Um, and you keep staying safe out there and doing your tree cutting and stuff. Okay. All right. Bye.